Hello there, it's Arash Azadi talking to you. In this video, we are going to uh, go through the Max for Live device uh, I upgraded from uh, Kevin Creeper's uh, sound particles that used to be a free device and now it's for sale. Anyway, it's uh, Max MSP and most of the devices are meant to be tweakable and editable so I upgraded it to my device uh, called Sonic Geometry in which we are going to first go through how to install it and uh, first we open the browser let me delete this first okay we open the browser, we go down and find the add folder, click on it, and then you find the downloaded folder, select it, and here you go. Now you see the Sonic Geometry Max for Live device. It's uh, an audio effect, a Max audio effect. It means that it processes uh, audio as an input and it also outputs the audio but this device functions based on the audio input so you can uh, throw it on any audio or MIDI track that you want it to react based on the audio output of that track so my suggestion is to throw it to on, on top of the master track so you just have to drag and drop it like this to the master track as you see it uh, pops up the visual window you can resize it and you have to turn it on by here next to the read and this is the basic view of this device so as you can see it has the audio input of my microphone and it's already reacting the very first basic uh, adjustment uh, important adjustment that you have to take care of is the input so as I lower the input you see it begins to react less and you have to find the right balance for your uh, settings of how you want it to react how intense you want it to react and also you can use equalizers to just let's say direct a specific range of frequencies let's say maybe you just wanted to react to your bass frequency so you use that uh, the next important thing is the dimension so like you can add different dimensions to it I minimize it to four because uh, it uh, less than that wouldn't really make sense so you can go up to 100 and create really really interesting shapes then you can choose the shape for it like let's say sphere or cylinder or cube then you can adjust the line width something around here let's go to the torus and let's 
now change the background color and also let's change the shape color okay I personally really like the yellow color it's one of my favorite colors as you can see the plugin is also in yellow but you can choose your own color you have RGB both for background and both for the shape and then we have a uh, blend mode which kind of turns this 2d shape into a more 3d like or like actually turns it to a 3d surface so by as you can see by changing this from blend mode 1 to 2 you see that it activates the 3d mode and by this other thing it turns it from like inside to out or from outside to in you see see from inside and from outside the other very important thing is the render mode these are different jitter settings in max msp for rendering shapes and you can create really interesting visuals based on different t modes and types of rendering especially if we go to like more 3d views as I will demonstrate now you will see the options of different uh, views and, and perspectives and, and generally different um, uh, ways of creating visuals so let me put it on tree grid which is like the more advanced version especially when you go to, to 3d so this is basically how it functions but if we want to make it more interesting then we have to add some z scale to all this whole distortion aspect so let me add some you see that now we add to this z axis axis and we uh, we have to also set the offset for the y axis of how this distortion happens so you see now we are creating pretty pretty decent visuals and let's let me put it to the full screen mode so just to uh, as you know uh, the screen you usually use for uh, audiovisual performances is the second extended screen and you just need to drag it fully to the second screen and then click full screen here and then you will have the second screen fully projecting uh, this window so now we are on the main screen this is what you get and as you see if, when I talk the sound is generating visuals and when I don't it goes back to its shape and then you, you if you want to come out of the um, full screen mode you just hit escape and yeah this is basically it and uh, you can play around with different options like for example you can play with the camera on x axis you can play on y axis you can zoom in you can zoom out and all of these are uh, able uh, are um all of these are made to be automated as well so let's say for example if we want to automate the zoom right click show automation 
it opens the automation and the track and let's say we want to automate this from like zoom jumps here and there and there and there so you see it is automated and you can create different animations and like patterns to uh, make it suitable for your music and for your sounds and you can go for all, all different options the other thing that is very interesting is the, the view so as you see like you are actually creating 3d objects and you can move along and try things out and you can all uh, for sure you can midi map everything and adjust everything uh, live on the go so it's a pretty playable instrument and this is the invert option that inverts the whole pattern and this is basically it the rest is on your creativity how you want to combine different rendering methods like go play with like line width and distortion intensity and all the other options and when you add uh, all colors auto you cr you have this kind of rainbow uh, gradient of different colors at the same time and when you add colors when it's not white uh, you get these other gradients and qualities which is very interesting I hope you enjoyed watching this walkthrough and I hope you enjoy playing around with this new toy. <laughs>